Chuck, I got a quick one for you. Okay. This is a, a explainer, Star Talk explainer on area codes. Oh, oh, okay. Area codes. <laughs> really? Right? Yeah. Area what codes. What in? What uh, in? Now, see. Here's what I'm going to do. What? What are you going to do? What are you I do? am going to open my mind. <laughs> Stay open. Stay. I'm going to be receptive because okay. you know, in the times past, where you have come up with some cockamamie stuff. <laughs> I have said to myself, this man done lost his mind. This is like one of the smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. It's finally happened. He done gone off the deep end and he wants to talk about, you know. So, but, and then at the end, I'm like, oh man, that was, that was pretty dope. That was deep. Okay. So instead of having my normal reaction when something is different and. You have trained yourself. You've I've learned. trained myself. I'm going to be All like, right. you know what? Bring Here it on. It is. Bring right. it on. So, you know, before a certain time, if you see phone numbers in old-timey TV shows, uh, they only gave seven numbers. They didn't give an area code. and Because mm -hmm. area codes had to be sort of formulated and figured out by the phone company that if you were going to dial on your own, that they needed a way to direct the call to the proper location instead of calling the operator. The operator, get me... Uh, right. something, something, something in New York or in Los Angeles or in, right? So now you can dial it directly. So this was a big advance in people's ability to communicate without the help of a telephone operator. Gotcha. All right. So now let's go back to the dial phone. Okay? okay. Okay. All right. So in the dial phone, you stuck your finger in the hole and you rotated the dial all the way to this little finger stopper. Right. You pulled your finger out and then it clicked all its way back. Okay. By the way, each one of those clicks was itself an acoustic instruction to the phone to dial that number. Ooh. If you, which I owned at the time, something that just simply makes clicking sounds, you can just pick up the phone and attach it to the to the speaker. I mean, to, to the to to the uh, <clears throat> the microphone. You know the bottom part of the phone, and right. then it can you can click your phone number into the phone system without actually dialing. Okay, but that was like short lived because then we had touch tone in this. But let's go back to the dial phone. Okay, so the number one was all the way at the top, right, and had the shortest distance to go to get to the finger stopper. Mm -hmm. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then what came after nine? Zero. Zero or O. O for operator. For operator. Okay. Right. So that one you bring it around, that was like 10 clicks. Right. Okay. All the way around. By the way, I worked for AT&T Bell Labs when I was in college. I had a summer internship there oh. at, at um, Murray Hill, oh. which was the research headquarters in uh, New Jersey. I sold uh, weed out of a phone booth once. Are you that? <laughs> We're so much alike. <laughs> we should be friends. Okay. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, so that sensitized me to the history of phones and the long lines and the and why long distance calls were so expensive mm -hmm. because they use that the profits from that to pay for everything else, which right. is why making a normal phone call was not very expensive. So in the day, you'd make a long distance phone call. You told the people you were calling long distance. I'm making, a, you know, I'm calling long distance. They would drop everything to accommodate you because right. everyone knew that that was costing some real cash. This right guy's there. got some money. No, that's not what they were thinking. They said, a, we got we to gotta help out so that Ma Bell doesn't end up with all our money. All right. right that right. was the collective understanding here. All right. So time for area codes. All right. Well, they already had a set of digits that were reserved for certain uh, tasks. So 411, if you type 411, that was reserved for information. Mm -hmm. You dial 411 and you'd get a human telephone book, basically. Right. What is the number of Johnny Jones, whatever, or Mary Smith in this at this address? They'd look it up and sometimes they'll dial it for you. Or they would just tell it to you and you'd write it down. All wow. Right. Okay. Yeah, this is like forever ago. All right. So 611 would be if there was something wrong with your phone and you needed repairs. 
Okay. Okay. So they say, we'll, we'll be by tomorrow to look at the phone line, whatever. All right. So they had a few of these that all had a, a, a one um, in the middle. Okay. However, those were established after area codes were established. Okay. Mm. Now they knew we, we're not going to have a phone number beginning with a one, nor a phone number beginning with a zero. Right. Here we go. If you can't begin a number with one. Right. And the next two digits can't be a one, one and a one, one. Okay. So what's left? So the highest population city, New York, they wanted that to be where the area code can be dialed the quickest because the most number of people would be dialing it. That's right. And you don't want to burden so many people with waiting around for the dial to finish dialing. That's right, because you're going with the finger thing. So with the finger have, thing. Can't have two one one, so you gotta have two one two. Two one two is the shortest time dialed area code on a dial. Yo, that's cool. Okay, so now what city has the next highest population? Probably Los Angeles. Los Angeles. What is the area code of Los Angeles? Three, one, two, one, three. Three. Two, one, that, three. Low. That's why you have this. Okay. Okay. What's the next most popular city? Probably Chicago. Chicago. What's the area code of Chicago? I don't know it, but I'm sure it's 214. No, no, no. Oh. I can go lower than that. 312. Oh, 312. <laughs> That's right. Because you don't, because you're staying in the little, you stay you're in the staying zone. in the thing. You're staying in that little, you stay that in, three in finger, the zone. That three finger hole. The three hole standard of excellence. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we took out 212, 213, 312. Right. Okay. Now, uh, what's the next most popular city? Um, after Chicago. Yeah. Wow, that's tough. Now I'm now I'm losing. Let me see. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm trying to think back then what it would be because yeah, actually you know, I don't remember. I'm trying to just ask yeah, it. I don't remember because now it might be. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's so many. We're right. we're all over the place. Yeah. So, but but those three main cities, you get the point. Yeah. Of yeah. this, and they wanted to minimize the time you would spend dialing in a long distance call people who are in these most populated cities. So if you were to go back there, it probably. You're looking at something like Philadelphia after- I was wondering Houston too. So or, I'd have to, yeah. I have to check my map. Again, it has to be back then. Yeah. Let's and see. Philly, was two, Philly is Philly. 215. So maybe there's something- Area code. 213, 312. Yeah, 215, that's close. So, and so that's to be a 214. Let's just ask who 214 is. Let me oh, find yeah. out. Uh, area code, uh, 214. Dallas, okay. 214. All right. Give it to me, okay? And how about 314? Four. What's 313? I'm a 313. Let's see. 313. Detroit. That makes sense. There you go. Detroit. These are all in the house. heavily populated cities. Heavily areas. populated cities. And let's try 314. And that's why St. Louis. So these are big cities. So these that's are big why cities. It goes around. It's not just some systematic incrementing of numbers. They wow. were looking out for you. This, these are smart people, physicists, engineers developing the future of communication. And they got so smart, they were like, why the hell don't we just have push buttons? <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> <laughs> right. We should just have push buttons. <laughs> so, so, somebody was like, George is right. <laughs> right, so push money don't make any difference anymore. Right. <laughs> Makes no difference. And so, and then the population went up. Not, not only did the population go up, but everybody now has three or four phone numbers associated with themselves. Absolutely. You have your home phone number. Right. You have your cell, cell phone, phone number. number your you have your phone work phone, phone number right. if you work and you have a desk. And then your That's Google at least phone. three. So, so once the phone numbers proliferated, then the municipalities needed more than one area code. Right. And then, then, and then we, with push button, it all bets are off. It just right. didn't matter yeah, it anymore. It doesn't really matter. Right? Now you have area codes that sound like the beginning of a phone number. Right. Because they started all area codes so, uh, it, with a one in the middle. Then they put a zero in the middle when you had 
touch tone. Right. And that sort of sound smelled like an area code, 737, right. 204, 204, well, now right? Now you got everything. 973, 917, you got 646 right. is an area code. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So four, all five, bets zero. are off. Yeah, that'll, that'll make all a difference. All bets are off. That's so that's all I wanted to tell you. Ah, sure. well, that was fun. Who knew? That's all. <laughs> New York, Los Angeles, Chicago. Chicago. There nice. There you go. And they just didn't want you to wear out your finger. That's it. That, <laughs> that, that makes sense, you know? <laughs> um, oh, oh, so I got one for you. Uh, so what is the area code of Cape Canaveral? Cape Canaveral? I need Jeopardy music here. Do, 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 yeah, do, I mean, do, I'm, do, I would have do, no do, idea. Do, do. Okay. Are you ready? Go ahead. The area code of Cape Canaveral is 321. <laughs> 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 I'm duh. Three, of two, course. One. That makes they sense. They launched rockets at Cape Canaveral. Right. It three, is 321. Two, and they, they worked hard to get that. That's not the chance thing. Right. They they, they, they they lobbied for that. They 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 got that. And right. who's gonna say no? Who's gonna deny that? Exactly. Right? Of That's, course not. Right. <laughs> I, of course not. Um, and so there was an episode of Seinfeld when area codes were proliferating, where they created a social class around who had a two one two area code. Remember Seinfeld took place oh, in New yeah. York, that, New York City. That. That's a big and, deal. And someone said, "Oh, they're like ready to date." And they say, well, what's your phone number? And he says, oh, it's 646. 646? What? <laughs> Where do you live? I don't I don't trust you. Yeah. Who yeah. are you? Where do you? <laughs> so it created this social rift between those who were like in and mm -hmm. those who weren't. Yeah. And to this day, there are New Yorkers with cell phone numbers, some of which are 212. Yep. And so that those are badass long old timers. Nobody wants to give up the two one two. But that's right. They might have had cell phones back when they were shoulder mounted. Right. You know? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what I liked about the New York, uh, so they they isolated the two one two area code to just Manhattan. Right. And then they introduced seven one eight for all the of the outer, outer boroughs. boroughs. So right. so Queens, Brooklyn, uh, and Staten the Bronx Island. and Staten Island. And then initially. Cell phones were all 917s, and then they added 646s. So New York City has at least four, and there's a fifth one, 347, I think it is. 347. So, yeah, so we have five area codes. Five in the, area codes. In just the New York City area, and that's just because people do a lot of damn talking. Mm-hmm. There you go. Is what that is. Well, so, well, I, now, so now you're in the know for the area code. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and it's, a very, it's just a slice of history when dial phones was a thing. Yeah. Right, and you realize solutions to some problems are rendered obsolete by later advances in technology. Yeah. But at the time, they were quite clever. And I'd like to just give a shout out to people who were trying to make life better for us all. That's and very cool. Yeah, that's very and cool. Frozen in time and in space. Well, my cell service, I might as well have a rotary phone. No. So <laughs> this meant a lot to me. Oh, another <laughs> thing in uh, what's that TV show with Mork? from Ork. Um, Mork and Mindy. Mork and Mindy. So uh, Robin Williams plays an alien who's visiting Mindy. And I, what I liked is he the way he dialed, he'd pick up a phone and he'd whistle out the, the touch tones. And that's how he dialed the phone. And that uh -huh. was just, I just thought that was badass. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I wanted to be able to do that. And, I, and you don't have to be an alien to have that ability, but you have to be like on it's the note. It's perfect. And, and when I was a kid, I had this book called Fun with the Telephone. Right. And you could dial like nursery rhymes with the tones of the phone. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb, you know, <laughs> six, three, four, three. And so you could play music on it and you'd accidentally occasionally dial people. You'd just say, I'm sorry, I'm just playing with the phone. Right. And then yeah. you do that. So I go way back with telephones. That's now, nowadays, you would have sampled that and you'd be uh, playing Madison Square Garden. No. <laughs> There it is. All right, Chuck, that's all we have time for. Oh, that was cool, man. That was great. All right. This has been a Star Talk Explainer. Neil deGrasse Tyson here with Chuck Nice. As always, keep looking up.